Do you want the U.S. government to make more F-22 Raptors? Yeah! Well, too bad, because they shut down that production line. Uh... Yeah, like a while ago. But they may be starting up that production line. Yeah! All right, all right, all right. The F-22 Raptor is said to be one of the best fighter jets in the world ever. The only thing that's been able to bring it down is cost and glitches and upgrades, overhauls, repairs, politics, Chinese hackers. Tough day at the office. The F-22 might be new, but it's also old, like really old. The F-22 was first drafted in 1981, the same year that Ponch and John had taken over Friday Night TV. Hey, hey, were they gay? Uh, I, I want to say no. Gosh, uh, were they? I don't know. Ah, just wondering. The 1980s F-22 Raptor took another 16 years before its first flight in 1997. A full 10 years after Max Hedrum was kicked off the air. <laughs> the focus of the F-22 in the fear-filled 80s was stealth technology. America was the only one that had it. They thought they were totally slick and that Russia would never figure it out, which they did, and it all kind of fell apart. <laughs> it then took another eight years before the F-22 became operational in 2005. Wow. The entire process process took like 25 years. They then made a few, got scared again, shut down the production line, and here we are. You just went in a circle. Now what? Oh yeah, sure. They're debating whether to reopen that F-22 assembly line. Yay! Right now, the U.S. only has about 190 F-22s. Problem is, they originally planned to have like 650. With Russian and Chinese air forces closing in, the U.S. needs to act fast if they want to keep their air dominant. Designing a new sixth generation plane could take another 25 years. But making more F-22s right now is not that easy. Never is. The dilemma is that the time and labor required to make one of these silly things is too costly for humans to do. Ah. How about cheap robots? Robots would be great, but due to the increase of robotic abuse, robots have formed costly unions to protect themselves. Ah, crap! But don't worry, the government is hard at work with a compromise that works for everyone. Oh, good! The government plans to outsource construction for the new F-22s to a robotic assembly plant in Mexico. So it looks like Mexican robots will save the F-22 program. Mexican robots, huh? I guess that's not too offensive. Now, if you would have said gay Mexican robots. The brand new, still way older than the 1980s A-Team, super stealthy, but still can see it on radar. Wish we had more. Russia's catching up. China's copying. F-22 Raptor. Is the U.S. going to finally get left behind in the skies? Or can we make America great again by outsourcing our work to cheap robotic factories in Mexico? Ah, uh, dang it. Hey, Guido, pass me the thing. Hey, be nice. Stop yelling at me all the time. Shut up, you two, and get back to work. Yes,